Hello guys, welcome to CR Inter Designers Chetan here. In this tutorial, we are going to learn texturing process for this two head X which we have modeled in the last part. In this tutorial, we will learn procedural texture for the blade and handle of this two head X. So before moving toward the tutorial, if you didn't subscribe my YouTube channel, then please subscribe it and hit the bell icon. Because every week I make a blender tutorial. For that blender tutorial, you need to subscribe my YouTube channel. So please subscribe it. Now let's get started. So now we will create the procedural texture for this blade. So create a texture, give its name proper, then go to the shading tab and you can see here is a principal BSDF. Just increase the metalness up to 1. You can add a mix RGB and then connect that mix RGB to the base color and create a bluish tone color. So just increase the blue value and its saturation like this. And you can see and then increase the metalness up to 1, decrease the roughness and 0.3 will be fine. Then we need to add bump map. Connect that bump map to the normal map like this and we need to UV unwrap this before texture. So just apply the mirror modifier and just UV unwrap. You can use smart UV project for that and just select this island and rotate this island into 90 degree like this and place that islands at the right place. Then add a mix RGB, connect that mix RGB to the height input of the bump map, then add a Warnike texture, connect the Warnike texture to the first color input of the mix RGB. Then change it to the mosque and then increase the scale, 16 will be fine, then decrease the strength of the bump map, 0 0.07, 0 0.007 will be fine. And you can see the difference because of the bump map, then control T and connect the object to the vector so you will get the texture coordinate and mapping node play with the strength of the bump map and here I have one different metal texture and I will use that metal texture for the second color input of the mix RGB so you can use any kind of metal texture for the then add a normal map connect the normal map to the normal input of the bump map and add the normal map and connect that normal map to the color input of the normal map then play with the strength of the normal map to get the better result and you can see the blade texture looks pretty well now I will create a different blade, uh, blade texture for the outer edge of the blade outer sharp edge of the blade because I want that outer part the edge part should be sharp so I can create a different texture for that so create a different texture now we need to select this edge part so just select these faces manually you need to select the faces from the both side because we have already applied that mirror modifier then control plus for increase the selection and then assign that texture just shake it and then assign that texture metal blade shine texture then increase the metalness up to 1 and decrease the roughness 0.2 will be fine then add a mix RGB and create a same color for that you can copy the hex code of the last texture Then add a bump map and connect the bump map to the normal input of the principal BSTF. Then add a color ramp and connect the color ramp to the height input of the bump map. Then add a wave texture and connect the factor to the factor of the bump color ramp. And then control T for the mapping and texture coordinate node and connect the object to the vector. Then increase the scale of the wave texture then change the axis to the z axis and bend change to the ring so you will get this curve lines curve form of the waves then you can play with the color ramp to get the better result then decrease the strength on the bump map 0.007 will be fine so you can see we got this sharp texture 
sharp metal texture for our blade outer edge you can see the node setup and you can take the screenshot So now we will create a procedural texture for this handle. Create a new texture, give its proper name. And then go to the shading tab. You can see here is the principal BSDF. Increase the metallic value. Add the mix RGB and just copy the hex code to create the same color. Then add a color ramp, connect that color ramp to the roughness. Then we need to add a texture. So add a point density texture and connect that point density texture to the factor input of the color ramp. Then press Ctrl T for the texture coordinate and mapping node. Connect the object to the vector. Then play with the color ramp. You can use the sliders for the roughness value. Now we will create a texture for the bump map. So add a bump map and connect the normal. Connect the bump map to the normal input of the principal BSDF. Add a wave texture and connect that wave texture to the height input of the bump map. Then increase the scale. Uh, 27 will be fine. Then decrease the strength of the mock map. Then press Ctrl T for the mapping and texture coordinate node. Connect the object to the vector. Then add a mix RGB and connect the uh, fix that mix RGB in between the texture coordinate and the mapping node. Then add a noise texture, connect that noise texture to the second input or uh, first input of the mix RGB. Then increase the scale of the noise texture, decrease the, its roughness if you want. Then connect the object to the vector of the mix noise texture. And connect that object to the second color input of the mix RGB. You can play with the mix RGB for the noise texture and the wave texture. You can see the noise texture on the surface of the handle. And here is the node setup for the handle texture, which is very, you can take the screenshot of this node setup. 